Hello everyone, welcome to the session. My name is Frank Tachud and currently I am working as scientist at Paya Valley and research scholar in Geetam University, Biotech Department and I am going to explain about the cell. So before going to explain about the cell, I just want to throw some light upon what is life and what is death and how the cells have been formed and what is the significance of the cell. And let's start the session. So, cell. Cell is a basic structural unit of all living organisms and I can say the cell is an isolated environment of individual entity or individual energy that is that is uh, in a universe there are number of atoms, number of molecules and even in non-living organ non-living uh, uh, things that is table, chair, pen, etc. Whatever all the non-living things. So all non-living things is also having these atoms and molecules. And also in the cell there are atoms and molecules. But why do we call the cell as a living thing and a chair as, for example, a chair as a non-living thing? That is because I can say there is a coordination between atoms and molecules in a cell where this coordination is lacking in this non-living things. That's why a cell is a living thing and all living things are made up of cell. So now coming to the entropy, there is huge amount of energy or energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. But in this cell, coming to the structure of cell, there is a plasma membrane. There is a plasma membrane. In plant cells, there will be a cell wall and this plasma membrane and this cell wall in all the cells plants and animal cells this plasma membrane in animal cells and cell wall in plant cells comprising of the both they were isolating a particular set of chemicals atoms and molecules from the environment to its own energy or entropy where this energy is utilized by all types of atoms and molecules in present in this cell and the cell lives on and the cell lives on here that is the energy is used by all atoms and molecules over this cell for their purpose and for this purpose the cell to live on this cell communicates with some other cells and the energy is transferred to other cells and finally, when the energy is exhausted, the cell dies after the exhausting of energy. The cell dies. In this way, a cell starts its living and up to its death. So, I can say a cell is isolated from the universe of its own energy where all the living, all the matter that is atoms and molecules were in coordination to communicate with each other. And by this we can throw some light on death. That is, I can say from my theory, that is, the disruption in synchronization of all the atoms and molecules over a particular cell can lead to death. You can estimate it in many ways. That is, if you are having an accident, there will be obviously a disruption in cellular metabolism or breakage of the cell. And disconnection between the message, messages sent between the cells. If you have a myocardial infraction, that is heart attack, the cells in heart will stop working, leading to death. And there are many ways to death actually. And I can say the disruption in synchronization of atoms and molecules in a cell can lead to death. And the same way, the energy that is concentrated over a particular membrane or under a particular membrane and this energy is making all the atoms and molecules to communicate with each other. Making an individual entity is nothing but a cell. Is nothing but a cell. So this is some small introduction about how the life formed or a simple example of what is meant by life and what is meant by death. Now coming to the types of cells and what are the cells and the complete structure of cells in a brief discussion. We can say cells are of two types, that is plant cell and animal cells. We can also differentiate cells such as plant cells, animal cells, viral cells, 
or cells of microorganisms and bacteria etc so coming to the major basic difference according to the lower sections of education we can say cell is divided into two types basing on the cell wall if a cell has a cell wall we can say it's plant cell and if a cell has no cell wall we can say it is animal cell basing on the genetic matter so basing on the genetic matter we can say if the cell has only rna no nucleus or very primitive form of nucleus we can say it is from viral cell and it has an established nucleus we can say it is a eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell now so coming to the structure of the cell cells could be of plant cells animal cells bacterial cells viral cells etc but i can say majorly all cells requires replication that is a cell for its survival it needs to be replicated for further generations and it needs to be evolved in that condition a cell to replicate it requires a genetic matter genetic matter is nothing nothing but you can say dna and rna and this dna is rna is enclosed in a nucleus supported by nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane and this nuclear membrane is present in a pool of water we can say that is cell fluid and this cell fluid is again completely covered with or completely in the protection with plasma membrane so up to here we can say this could, this could be an animal cell and this plasma membrane if it is protected by again another layer of cell wall then we can say this is a plant cell so in this way coming from the in depth to coming from the in depth to outermost area a small review that is a dna or rna is present in a particular cell and it if the dna is rna is present the cell can replicate itself for future generations and it has a life it we can call this as living cell now this dna and rna if it is covered with a proper nucleus or pro proper nuclear envelope we can say it is as a eukaryotic cell if there is no proper nuclear envelope we can say it is a prokaryotic cell or a viral cell and upon this this is completely along with the nuclear envelope there are golgi bodies vacuoles and other cell components in a particular cell and these all were protected by a layer of membrane or else or else we can't say the cell as a closed compartment now this all things are co completely covered in a plasma membrane making giving a structure giving it a structure to the cell and we can say up to here this, this could be a animal cell and if this plasma membrane again can be protected by the cell wall we can say it is a plant cell so this could be a quick review of what is meant by a cell and coming to the internal structures of plasma membrane so there are number of models such as fluid mosaic model and general models that explains about the plasma membrane but the most explained and most accepted model is the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane that is in fluid mosaic model as i said the cell needs to be communicated with other cells for the life to be happened so i i am throwing some small light on the fluid mosaic model of the cell so in this fluid mosaic model of the cell cell is made up of phospholipid bilayer so this is a phosphate moiety and this is a lipid moiety and phosphate heads are pointed towards upside and with the lipids basing on hydrophobic hydrophilic it will face towards the down it, it will face towards the down now this phospholipid bilayer will compress of a plasma membrane and 
all the proteins which were present protruded outwards of the membrane were called extrinsic proteins and some of the proteins were present in between and inside of the cell called intrinsic proteins and there are number of receptors over the cell surface so if a virus or bacteria to be attacked by the cell or if a virus or bacteria attacks the cell it directly attacks through the receptor and this receptor captures a particular molecule and opens the plasma membrane and the virus molecule will enter into the cell at the same time we can say the receptors proteins and phospholipid membrane the acts as a barrier for the cell protection and it's a transporter of gases and other molecules and and it will send signals to other cells also that is important export of molecules important export of gases and cell signaling through signaling molecules from into and outside of the cell this is the small description about cell plasma membrane thank you very much